Well, each Friday, Chris catches up with Gemma Tognini from GT Communications and in the studio. Would you believe, Gemma? Thank you very much for coming in. Hello, mate. How are you? I'm very well. I've got so much to talk to you about. Nick Kyrgios has got to be the luckiest sports person in the world. He walks through the semi-final without even playing a game. Yeah. Gives him an extra time to get his body right. Yeah. In the final of Wimbledon, I am struggling to get on his side, though. Oh, I don't... I mean, it's a bit of a tricky one for me because I couldn't care less about tennis. Like, you know, I like it when the Aussies are winning. It's about the extent of my interest. But I do think it's the it's the agony and the ecstasy of the bloke, right? Because he polarises people. He, um, you know, draws people either to him or vehemently against him. Yes. That's the heart of sporting contest, right? So people will tune in. This is my theory. They'll tune in either to see him win or to see him get an absolute flogging. We love a villain. You know, that's yeah, the other thing. Yeah, that's right. We do. Pat Cash may not understand that. We love a villain. <laughs> and maybe Wimbledon has seen more eyes than what they normally would. It's maybe, a good point. Maybe, maybe. I, I do hope he wins, though. I hope he wins. I'm yeah. just not... Yeah, I just hope he wins. Yeah.